Well, hello, my friend, and welcome to my channel. I've got Salon Perfect's Coca Cabana Girl with DIY decals. I've started off with Nail Ticks Formula 2 and Salon Perfect Coca Cabana Girl. Thank you, Miss Debbie. And I topped it off with Posh to make it dry down. And now we're going to be using this here Lena Plate All About Love 01. Thank you, Miss Connie. And I'll be stamping with Insta Dry white from the Crayola collection and I'll be using a whole bunch of clear stampers. They're from Born Pretty, Aliexpress, and I won't be stamping with this one but I will use it for the dotting here in a little bit. Um, I got my Moe scraper and like I said I um, you know just actually I don't know what I said. You know what? Let's just roll with it. We're gonna clean this plate off in between so that we get a good crisp pick up every time and I'm just using pure acetone with a cotton ball on oh, my cotton claw that I got from Sally's and today's manicure is brought to you by my friends that sent me nail mail <laughs> I just realized just about everything I'm using came from somebody even the scraper the scraper came from Miss Janine over at Jay Lee's Nails I won it in her giveaway so but anyway, I'm really digging these um, Crayola uh, stamping, or they're not stamping polishes, but that's what I'm going to use them for. In fact, I made room in my stamping kit just for them. But I'm using this orange to go in and fill in on my decal, just using a little dotting tool. And the effect is not going to be just bam in your face with a bunch of contrast, but you know, sometimes I, I don't need the bam in your face, and then other times I need it. So today's going to be a little bit more toned down, and I'm only going to do this accent on two nails on each hand. I want to be able to let Coca Cabana Girl sing and do her thing, but um, here we go. Here's a peek at it. Looking pretty good. And I'm going to do this with the rest of them. I'm going to speed this up a little bit faster because it was speeded up a little bit, but we're going to turbo do it and get through this a little quicker. Um, sometimes I do use a thin coat of super dry over the white stamping before I start dotting in, but I just skipped that step this time and jumped right on in it and I didn't have any problems. But if you do have problems, like when you go to use your dotting tool or your brush and it starts lifting your decal, just put a little coat of clear coat on it, not fast dry, but just clear coat and let it dry and then go in with your dotting tool or your paintbrush. There we go. Another one done. Now today I'm going to use this yellow stopper because I let these dry pretty good because they were kind of, you know, puffy. I didn't want to smear them when I applied them to my nail. So I'm putting a very thin coat on my nail of the yellow stopper and then I'm going to go in and squish this decal down under my nail. Now as you see it doesn't all go, but since I've got the sticky stuff on there, I'm going back in. And voila, good save. Sometimes we get lucky, right? <laughs> and then to get the excess off, I'm just going to roll that over here on my lint roller and get the rest of that nail polish off. And we're going to repeat that process here on my middle finger. There's going to be to my two accent nails. And I wish you could see how gorgeous Coca Cabana Girl is. It's My camera just freaked out and just said, nope, mm -mm, no, we're not doing it. And that one went on like a dream, just how I wish they all would. And I'm tapping it down to make sure that it's stuck well and flat, because I don't want no bumpy lumps. I'm going to go in with my little um, orange wood stick, which we have named Woody. And Woody is going to help me kind of break the seal on these and lift some of them up. Some of them I'm able just to get up with just him. I just want to get that kind of cleaned up a little bit so that I don't have as much of a mess when I go to do the acetone. And I am going to try to get some of the ones I broke free up with some tape. I don't remember who I saw doing that, but I thought it was a perfect idea. Now we're going to use our cleanup brush and some pure acetone to clean off what's excess and to kind of melt 
the decal onto my nail around the edges and especially on the tips. Because I want it to stick good and not start lifting on me later. And this, of course, is my favorite cleanup brush. It is a Sonia Kushak Tools number 27. I find mine at Target for $10, and I know that sounds a lot for a cleanup brush, but my last one lasted me almost three years, and I, I give it a workout. You guys know I do, because I clean up as I go along and clean up at the end, and I am using pure acetone, and for it to have lasted that long, to me, it's just amazing. So worth every penny, every penny. And there was quite a lot of cleanup. Normally when I do decals, I don't trim them up very much. And um, if at all, like I didn't at all on this one, but I always have major cleanup. And you know, the struggle is real. And if you don't like this kind of cleanup, then maybe this sort of decal's not for you. But I love them. I love the look that it gives. And to me, it's worth the work. And to be honest, cleanup doesn't bother me. It's kind of therapeutic. I don't want to do like a ton of it. I wouldn't have wanted to do all 10 fingernails. <laughs> but, you know, doing a couple on each hand, I can handle that. And I'm sorry if this is painful. Next time I'll try to remember to cut some of this out. I'm going to top this off with some posh top coat. And I am going to cover the nails that were already painted and dry. I just, I'm funny about the layers. I want them to be same on all the fingers. You know, being a blonde and being from the south, you know, something like that could make me, you know, be off balance if, you know, some nails are thicker than others. <laughs> just kidding. I'm just kidding. Teasing, teasing. But I really did like how this one turned out. I wish that the orange, and maybe I should have gone with yellow or pink or something else, but you know, you live and you learn. You know, this manicure is done and I'm going to move on to the next one next time and maybe I'll remember. So here's my swatch photo. I would love to hear what you think about this one. Leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think. And that is all I have for you today. Until next time, be good to yourself. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.